Citizen Weather Observer Program to get into the CWAP you have prerequisites is a weather station obviously you need to know the elevation and location latitude and longitude and decimal degrees to at least five places and what I do I used uh, Google Earth and if you see down here shows the latitude and longitude to how many two four six so good enough now usually this comes up with uh, degrees minutes seconds to get decimal degrees you go to tools options show latitude longitude and decimal degrees then you <coughs> go obviously you have to have a uh, some kind of weather station I've got a Davis Vantage Pro 2 and a Davis 6100 and I also am listening to the integrated sensor suite with a Raspberry Pi a software defined radio but I'm sending the information from the uh, the Davis 6100 and this shows right here the uh, weather station so you have to fill out a uh, registration form your name your email near the town and here's where you set your uh, elevation in meters above sea level so <clears throat> once you uh, get that you wait and you will get a email that uh, says essentially you or someone giving your email address requested a citizen weather registration number the number is and it will be obviously different in your case and what you do then is you go to uh, packet checking and it says uh, CWAP setup for Davis weather link unfortunately it is a little old but uh, gives you enough information that you can uh, you can kind of figure out what's going on also in WeeWix it has a CWAP here and essentially all you have to do is enable to true and give your station and this is the uh, Davis uh, weatherlink com and to get it set up you go to share and uploads upload and it's a CWAP the uh, call sign every 15 minutes is good enough and to figure out if your elevation is proper or not the elevation but your latitude and longitude here here's the uh, where that is shown so once you have that you can then look at uh, https uh, find you.com cgi bin find cg call and that is also included in the uh, in the email you'll have so you set up the uh, stuff on the uh, Davis or WeWix and it will start sending uh, data to the uh, find you and uh, to get the raw data
there it is. And here it, uh, is your ID, your time, and then this is the degrees and minutes, decimal minutes for uh, latitude and longitude. Once you get all that set up, you want to send an email to to cwop-support at noaa.gov and this is what you want to tell them. You list the designator, say that you verified the location, and then the request to be uh, registered so the uh, data goes to NOAA. And that is uh, essentially it. Uh, and most of these links are somewhat uh, messed up, but uh, that's uh, how you do it.